Being separated from ones we love is never easy. And all of us are experiencing that separation in one way or another at the moment. Perhaps the greatest heartbreak of this current crisis has been the knowledge that there are people dying in hospital without their loved ones at their side. For all the amazing care that they've been receiving from nurses and doctors and other staff, and it's been wonderful to see the outpouring of gratitude to those staff. But sadly, it can't take away the reality that at that moment in particular, people want the touch of those nearest and dearest to them. That says something to us about the importance of relationships. And it says something to us about the importance of physical touch. And we would do well, I think, to reflect more on those, even as we prepare for the day when eventually we will emerge from this crisis. For us as Christians, it also says something about the importance of relationship within the Christian faith and indeed the importance of expressing that faith physically with others. So when we think about spirituality, we think about the importance of the bread and wine of Holy Communion or the importance of the water of baptism or the oil of anointing or indeed the hand on the shoulder as somebody prays for us. When we think about how we live out our everyday faith, we think about the need for concrete action, for being with others in their suffering, for expressing support or care for others in very practical ways. But what are we to do when those physical ways of expressing our faith are denied to us, at least for a season? As we approach Easter, I've been reflecting on that phrase used by the risen Lord Jesus Christ when speaking to his followers and promising, I will be with you even to the end of the age. What does it mean, I wonder, to say that Jesus is with us in our current circumstances? I was thinking a little bit about another context in which we use a similar phrase, a rather quaint old expression where we talk about a woman being with child. It's a very particular form of being with another human being. But of course it only comes to particular people at a particular time and only for a season. After nine months the child is born and there's then a different way for the mother to be with the child. And of course other adults, the father, the grandparents, the godparents, whoever else it may be, all have different ways of being with that child and they too change over time. We do well to reflect more on the different ways of being with people. And then I was struck by a quote that I saw recently from Terry Waite, the Anglican priest who was taken hostage in Lebanon many years ago and who spent years in captivity, much of it in complete isolation. And he spoke about the struggles of having to find a different way, a whole new way of expressing his faith, even in captivity. So I hope during this season we can reflect more on what it means to be with one another, but also to know that God is with us in Christ. I've been enormously encouraged by the huge amount of creativity being shown by churches all across the diocese as we think together about how to express our faith at this time. People using all the tools of the internet, people finding new and creative ways of encouraging people to pray in their homes. There has really been an outpouring of creativity. And as we now come to celebrate Easter, to remember again that story of God entering into our experience to be with us, yes, even in our suffering, even in the pain of this world, even in the moments of questioning and the moments of doubt. As we remember the fullness of God, entering the fullness of the human experience, that we might know the fullness of life in him. So I hope that whether we're on our own, whether we're with loved ones, 
whether we're very conscious of being separated from loved ones, we can nevertheless, in the midst of all of that, know God with us. I hope that the joy of this Easter season and indeed the peace and the love that Jesus Christ came to bring will be yours as we celebrate Easter in a different way this year.